a radio show, a fan called in and began harassing Michael Cole. Regardless of how you feel about Cole's commentary skills, you'll enjoy hearing how Cole handled this fan. I wish Taz was doing the show solo. Hey, listen. Li show. Hey, listen, <laughs> kid. You know, you, 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 you can do whatever you want to do. You can put me on mute. You can turn the goddamn channel for all I care. All I know is I've been doing that show for 337 episodes, so I must be doing something right. What's good, John? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out disrespectful wrestling fans who got what they deserve by Tap Out Corner. Hey, some of y'all can pay your money to a wrestling show and think, you know what? I can say what I want. I can do what I want. Hell, if I feel like jumping the barricade, I can do that and uh, attack a wrestler or maybe show a wrestler my love and appreciation by jumping over a barricade or whatever the case may be. For some of y'all that feel like because you paid your money, you can do that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you can't. And if you do, do some of these things get disrespectful in the crowd jump the barricade attack a wrestler or, or get a little extra touchy feely with the female wrestlers there's a good chance you may catch the beat and or be charged and kicked out the show and permanently banned so we're going to check out some of these instances instances where uh wrestling fans get a little bit too disrespectful and they may end up catching some beats or catching some type of repercussions man I always say this, it's cool, you you worked hard for the seats that you got, you, you know, you uh, spent your hard earned money on wherever you're sitting at, that's cool to enjoy the show, but it does not give you the right to be disrespectful at these shows, no matter how much money you paid for the seats. So let's get right into this one, it should be a good one, man. One of the darkest and saddest days in wrestling was when Eddie Guerrero passed away in for 2005. Sure. Eddie was just 38 Andy, years old and had wrestled only five days before his death. While WWE did host their own tribute shows, many other wrestling companies paid their respects too. This included the Philadelphia-based Combat uh -huh. Zone Wrestling. Combat Zone was performed the 10 bell salute for Guerrero, a tradition whenever a wrestler passes away. For sure. Everyone remained silent and respectful. I think I've seen except this Except for one person. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. People like that, like I said, you can pay whatever you want to pay to get to whatever venue or event or whatever the case may be. But if you see someone doing this, you know, obviously Eddie was beloved by not just people, fans of WWE, but just wrestling in general. And they're doing a 10 bell salute and you're doing that to try to be edgy and cool. No, man. Give him his money back. Get him the hell up out of there, man. Sometimes it's not what Get fans say there, that's man. disrespectful, but what they do. The mess Luchador La Parca was wrestling when a fan tried to take his mask. Parker gave the would-be thief exactly what he deserved. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Park. I'll give this next fan pop deal right in his face as he deserve. Love to see it. Don't be touching wrestlers, man. They in the crowd like that, man. Especially not trying to take someone's mask off. What are you doing? It's the ultimate disrespect to a luchador. Like, what are you doing? Credit. He's got balls. In 2013, WWE was doing a series of shows in South Africa. Yeah, I've Radio seen was this part story. Of tour, but it unfortunately didn't go well for him. During one event, a young man managed to sneak his way into the ring. Yeah. The fan was an aspiring wrestler and wanted to get signed by WWE. Apparently, he thought sneaking into the ring and low blowing the Apex Predator was the way to do it. Uh. Randy assumed it was his opponent, but the second he realized it was some fan, the Viper got dead serious. Oh, the yeah. fan was taken away by security but Orton made sure to get some payback by kicking the man in the face. Yeah. This resulted in the intruder getting a black eye, which is honestly a lot better than what could have happened to him. Sometimes you... Yep. We've seen that incident on, uh, I think, a, a, a few videos of that that particular young uh, gentleman really trying to... Uh, really trying to get his moment. Randy Orton could have legitimately did some more damage to that guy if security and other personnel weren't there. Not only would you have not been in WWE, you probably would have been in the hospital for catching the beats. 
from the uh, the goat himself. You don't need to throw a single fist to put a disrespectful fan in their place, as demonstrated by Io Shirai. Oh yeah, yeah. In and then she, Sin then she hit the. <laughs> oh man, she hit the splits on him to stretch out. <laughs> Watch this. I'm Japanese, bitch. Ooh. In you see all that? <laughs> Imagine getting disrespected and she split right in front of you. Know you'll never be able to get that. That's the ultimate disrespect. <laughs> Sammy Zayn was in Argentina on a WWE tour. While traveling, a group of fans started following Zayn around. Sammy had his guide tell the fans to stop following him, but the fans ignored the guide's request. Sammy then decided to talk to them using the King's English. Did you get the away from me, please? <laughs> wow. <laughs> In 1997, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Six Don't be those X people, man. made an appearance at a spring break event hosted by MTV. While on stage, a spectator started throwing rocks at the trio. When Whoa. the security wouldn't do anything about it, Nash took matters into his own hands Whoa. and took the fan to the ground. I think he stopped throwing rocks after that. Oh. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. When the show is over, we want to press charges. We'll come find you. Oh, 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 bro, you saw how fast he got over there? Fan didn't know what to do. Once again, don't be that don't be that guy, man. Why are you throwing rocks at people? What are you doing? In 1999, the legendary Rick Rude died at the age of 40 due to heart failure. While Rude was a WCW wrestler at the time, Damn. the entire wrestling community mourned his death. Well, everyone except one fan. At an ECW event, they had a moment of silence followed by a 10 bell salute. Some fan in the front row decided to interrupt the salute and all heck broke loose. Of course. You claim to be a wrestling fan? You buy a front row ticket uh -huh. and then you sit on your fat ass while we're trying to pay respect? You should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe you actually gave birth to something like this. The owner of ECW, Paul Heyman, then came out and did one yeah. better. Here is double your money back. Get the out of here. Yeah, I've seen one this of the one most before. hated WWE commentators of all time is Michael Cole. For a long while, Cole had the unfortunate task of promoting whatever WWE was pushing, whether it be their mobile app, the WWE Network, or uh -huh. something else. While doing a radio show, a fan called in and began harassing Michael Cole. Regardless of how you feel about Cole's commentary skills, you'll enjoy hearing how Cole handled this fan. I wish Taz was doing the show solo. Hey, listen. Li hey, listen, kid. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you can do whatever you want to do. You can put me on mute. You can turn the goddamn channel for all I care. All I know is I've been doing that show for 337 episodes, so I must be doing something right. And, and what the f are you doing? What the f are you doing? I'm hosting a goddamn national television show, and now I'm on a goddamn radio station at the invite of Howard Stern. What the f are you doing? And you're listening to us oh. now. So obviously you didn't hit the f***ing mute switch tonight, Cole. During a WWE event in Germany... I like that, Michael Cole. We need more of that, Michael Cole. That was amazing. Michael Cole said, I've had it. I can't take it anymore. That's the Michael Cole I love to see, even though I do feel like Michael Cole has vastly improved since he's been able to be more natural on commentary. He doesn't seem forced to say things, so I, I've been loving what he's been doing on commentary as of late, but that, that's awesome. That, man, that's awesome. I love to, love to see it. Love to hear it. <laughs> Triple H is taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin. The game and the rattlesnake were putting nope. on a great show. Classic, when a fan suddenly classic got into uh, incident. Triple H had none of it. It instantly made the fan yep. regret getting inside Bop. the circle. Even the referee joined in on the attack. Yep. The fan was eventually <laughs> taken out by security, yep. but he Bro. left with an experience. He definitely... Hey, and that's how you do it. Even though he just took a move from Stone Cold, he realized something was up, and he got got up quickly, no sold it, and went to work and started beating the crap out of him, as he should. This is a very infamous clip, very in, infamous uh, uh, situation that's happened in the past. We've seen it so many times, but it just shows that these guys, you know, they, you know, they care for each other in the ring for the most part, you know, and they're, they're there to sell an image of they hate each other. But when someone gets in that ring that's not supposed to be there, it's always good to know that that person has your back and will take care of business. And Triple H, you may not have liked them back then. Some of y'all may not even like them now, but you can't deny. You got to give respect to a man that will literally watch your back because Stone Cold didn't know. He could have had a weapon on him. Didn't matter. Triple H took care of the problem.
definitely won't forget. This wasn't Triple H's last run-in with a fan either. On an episode of Raw, the game had just finished a match with the Big Show. Afterward, Triple H and Stephanie were confronted by Linda McMahon. Uh -huh. However, the King of Kings had to deal with a rogue fan first. Yep. Yep. And they had to they had to cut. <laughs> they had to like pretend, especially people on commentary like JR and the King, they they had to pretend nothing was happening. And Linda's trying to pretend like, you know, just like what the hell's going on? But once again, Triple H went into <laughs> went into protector mode and started giving that fan the beats. <laughs> It doesn't matter if it's oh. a massive WWE show or a smaller independent event, fans should never jump into the ring. Facts. One guy learned this lesson the hard way. <laughs> what was that, bro? Why would he do that? You're in a ring by yourself and you assault someone with a whole bunch of people in the ring. What do you think is going to happen? Look at this, bro. Someone tell me how does this make sense in anyone's head that this is going to end well for them. Look, just look at this. Oh, it was over. It was over. It was over, bro. It was over. Bro, they're beating. Bro, they're legit beating the crap out of him. These are not, they're not pulling punches. They're not pulling kicks. They are stomping a mud hole on whoever this idiot is. And you hear someone on the PA system, on the announcing system, hey, do not get in the ring. This is what will happen to you, pretty much. And, hey, look, no sympathy over here, man. This is real. He said this is real, bro. They are beating the crap out of him. Yo. He said, no, nah, this was real, bro. And, no, they really beat the shit out of him. And now he's getting it scored it out. Stupid. During a ladder match between Eddie Guerrero oh, and Rob Van Dam, a fan thought it'd be fun to knock Eddie off the ladder. Latino Heat gave the fan exactly yep. what he deserved. Yep, infamous uh, segment. Man, he ball. But Chris Jericho is not someone you want to make mad. Oh, somebody threw so now. <laughs> Jay is not afraid to get payback if you upset him, as seen here. On an episode of AEW Dynamite, Jericho and MJF were in the ring when a fan got over the barricade and onto the entrance stage. When the fan doing? got close, Chris Jericho quickly Ooh, took a shot at the man. Jericho yeah. was so upset, he shoved the security guard who was yeah. trying to protect him. This guy got off pretty easy, though, compared to what wrestlers would do to disrespectful fans in yeah, WCW. Bro. Uh -oh. WCW was infamous for how often fans would jump the guardrail and attack the wrestlers. As you move next oh Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, bro! One incident saw a fan attempt to ruin one of the biggest moments in wrestling history. At the Bash at the Beach 1996 pay-per-view, Hulk Hogan turned heel and created the New World uh -huh. Order with Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. It was an impactful moment, but a fan tried to steal the spotlight. A man in the crowd got in the ring, but was quickly taken down by Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. This wouldn't be the last time WCW fans Jesus, tried to Jesus, bro! During a cruiserweight match, a fan Jesus. rushed the ring, but was taken out by the- This is how you know. Boys was getting really mad at these guys. They are literally doing whatever they can to get their hands on them as fans. And they're willing to get the beats. And every time they're catching the beats, it's crazy. Referee. The smallest referee in the world just took him down. How tough is that guy? In another Jeez. incident, Macho Man Randy Savage was in the process of beating down Kevin Nash when a nut from the crowd got in the ring. Oh my goodness. Bro, what was that, bro? Oh, oh. How this next fan it's left so stupid out here trying to Oh my god Stupid bro He's over there Yeah as he's getting beat up bro what you, Look at this Look at this nonsense He's just happy to be there oh Look at this Look at him Look at him, bro. How this next fan left the arena alive is beyond me. Bret Hart and the late Jim Neidhart were honored at the 2019 WWE Hall of Fame for their accomplishments as the Hart Foundation. Uh -huh. Bret was accompanied by his niece and Jim Neidhart's daughter, Natalia. While giving a speech, Bret was suddenly yep. jumped by a fan. Seen this one before. 
They are boys start beating the crap out of him as they should have. The intruder was quickly subdued, and as he was taken away, the yep. mini wrestler Dash Wilder yep. got a quick but hard shot ah. that knocked the man out. But Good. what happened to that fan after he was taken away, and what is he doing today? To find out, watch this video. Hey, we may have to check that one out next, man. See what happened to some of these degenerates out there. What happened to them after they went in for business for themselves and started attacking wrestlers or whatnot. But yeah, man, this was a uh, um, obviously very interesting video. Once again, to all you paying patrons out there, patrons out there or whatnot, please just stay in your seats. Don't throw anything. You know, this is a different time in wrestling. So to throw in the trash and stuff, don't do that, man. Don't be disrespecting the wrestlers. Don't disrespect the wrestling business as a whole by thinking you can jump that barricade and do what you want. Because we saw just in that independent company, they beat the crap out of this guy. There's like at least uh, six, seven, eight wrestlers punching and kicking as hard as they can at that individual. And they deserve it because you don't do that. You don't do that. So comment down below let me know if you guys want me to check out what happened to the most infamous wwe fans i definitely want to check that out to see what happened to some of these fans that went rogue. like where are they now have they changed their ways have they learned from their mistakes let me know if that should be my next video i'll definitely check it out for you guys but i appreciate all the love and support you guys on our channel road to 150k and i'm still here on the speed of youtube wrestling channel of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace